All right, let's talk about a pivotal moment leading up to the American Revolution, the battles of Lexington and Concord. This is also considered the first official battle of the Revolution and often referred to as the shot heard around the world, which I'll explain in a little bit. Before we get started, some quick geography. Lexington and Concord are two separate towns about 15 miles west of Boston. Boston, of course, on the east coast of Massachusetts. And some quick background. The battles for Lexington and Concord took place during a contentious time in Boston history. Two things had recently happened. The so-called Boston Massacre, which you see here in the bottom right, and the Boston Tea Party, which you see here in the top left. Add to that an influx of British troops who were arriving in increasing numbers as hostilities between American colonists and British authority continued to break out. Now, to counter that growing threat of British troops in the American colonies, a group emerged called the Minutemen. These were volunteers from surrounding farms in the Massachusetts area and beyond who were willing to take up arms in a moment's notice to defend themselves against the British if need be. They were not well trained or well equipped, but they all shared in their dislike of British rule. And it all comes to a head in April 1775. Colonists get word that British troops would be marching from Boston to Concord in search of some weapons that colonists had been hiding there. A colonial warning system immediately sprang into action led by prominent patriot who you see here, Paul Revere. Revere, along with two other writers, Samuel Dawes and William Prescott, set out the night of April 18th to warn the towns along the roads to Concord that British troops were coming and would be looking for hidden weapons. Sure enough, early the next morning, 700 British troops set out from Boston, all headed towards Concord. And by this time, thanks to advance notice from Prescott, Dawes, and Revere, the Minutemen were ready. And they were led by this man here in the top left, John Parker. These volunteer Minutemen decided to await the British at a field in Lexington, a town on the way to Concord. The British were alarmed when they arrived at Lexington and immediately crossed the bridge and shifted into battle formation. The colonists, lacking the training, lined up opposite side. And here's where things begin to get hazy. Someone fired a shot. And historians for the past couple centuries have debated who it was. Suffice to say, the shot that was fired, which triggered panic on both sides, the British Redcoats commenced firing in military formation, while the Minutemen returned fire the best they could. It all culminated with a British charge that ended up killing eight Minutemen and wounding one Redcoat. This is the so-called shot heard around the world because it con is considered the first shot fired of the American Revolution, which in turn would lead to the first democratic republic since Rome 2,000 years before. And so the British continued through Lexington on to Concord, where they find some hidden Patriot weapons, but it's not the big stash they were looking for. And on their return march back to Boston, they were harassed by Minutemen from surrounding villages. A large engagement occurred here in the bottom right at the Old North Bridge. More skirmishes continued as the British hastily retreated back to Boston. Minutemen hid behind fences and bushes and fired at the approaching army. This use of guerrilla warfare helped the colonists against a bigger and better trained British army. And by the following morning, 15,000 colonial mission men had surrounded Boston. The previous day's engagement had cost the British 73 killed and 173 wounded versus the militia's 50 killed and 39 wounded. The Revolutionary War was about to begin. The Second Continental Congress would soon convene and officially draft the militia surrounding Boston into the Continental Army to be led by George Washington. The first shots of the American Revolution had been fired.